Well, folks, tropical storm slash hurricane Debbie, whatever it is right now, has completely flooded my yard, my backyard. And uh, it's not even two o'clock yet on Sunday afternoon. And uh, some of those, th this yard is so uneven. You could tell because look how the water's pooling and then it's high in certain areas. Well, it's about eight inches deep right there. And I know that because I went out and tested it yesterday after a, or two days ago after a, a rainstorm. And it completely was up over my ankles to where my socks would be. Um, and that's that's way higher <laughs> so um so yeah that's the update um i'm honestly thinking about getting the kayak out and bringing it back here and floating through my yard but maybe i'll wait a little bit till it covers covers these um these little patches but <laughs> if i do that i'll make a video too um now it's going to the left side of us which means we're likely to get some storm surge and I don't know if this is storm surge or rain in a tropical storm that far out we're likely to get a foot or two or three maybe of uh, storm surge which uh, yeah there's a creek that goes behind my house and it attaches to the bay right there and uh, a foot of storm surge will do this so this might be storm surge in which case uh, this will be salt water, or brackish, and uh, if that's the case, then this grass is going to die, <laughs> and so is this tree. This grass died, um, it was only about four months ago that it started regrowing. Literally, it took about eight months to regrow the grass because the, the salinity in the ground um, screwed up the ability for the grass to grow. And same with this tree. This tree, right here, two years ago, it fell over. There's a rope tied to it because I, I, um, I tied a, a rope to it and pulled it up manually. And um, Jesus, um, and I don't want it to die, so I pulled it up, straightened it up, and then last year it died because this was all salt water, about three feet high from Hurricane Ian, I think, um, and it's likely to die again, and I don't want it to die, because this is the tree that they used to make uh, Chanel perfume. So, um, so yeah, uh, that's the update. Um, I'm, hoping that it, <laughs> I'm hoping that it floods more so I can get the, the kayak back here, because that would be awesome. Because um, it's in the garage, I just got to go pull it out and bring it back here. And actually, last year, the front the front of the house was on like the whole street was under about a foot of water. So, if it gets that bad, I'll be making some videos going down the street in the kayak. But uh, yeah, stay safe.